But first, it is Hakeem Dewadu and Shuka Willis. Both are undefeated at 4-0. 23-year-old Dewadu, 22-year-old Willis. A little bit of a height advantage for Willis. Weight around the same and a three-inch reach greater for Willis here tonight. Here are the rules. It's a 10-point must system based on effective striking, grappling, aggression, and cage control. No knees or kicks to the head of a grounded opponent. Now let's go inside the cage to Jazz Securo for the official introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the World Series of Fighting 21. We are back up north in the Edmonton Expo Center in Edmonton, Alberta. Our event tonight is sanctioned by the Edmonton Combative Sports Commission. We'd like to thank our viewers watching worldwide on NBCSN. Our first fight is brought to you by Everlast Hydrate Elite. We're scheduled for three rounds in the World Series of Fighting Featherweight Division. And now, introducing on my left, Fighting out of the blue corner, his record is perfect with four victories, no defeats. Standing 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing 146 pounds. Fighting out of Kansas City, Missouri by way of Emporia, Kansas. Making his World Series of Fighting debut, introducing Chuka, the Lion King Willow. And now, across the Decagon, fighting out of the red corner, his opponent, also a perfect professional record with four victories, no defeats, all four wins coming by way of knockout. He stands five feet aces tall, weighs 146 pounds, fighting out of Calgary, Alberta, presenting Mean Hakeem to Your referee for this fight is Kyle Cardinal. Back, guys, back. Sheila Patton gets us started here in round one between Hakeem Dewadu and Shuka Willis. Are you ready? Penzo, if you, you saw ready? the look on Dewadu's face, no wonder why nobody would fight this guy. <laughs> yeah, it was hard even to get an opponent. Look how he's, he's very, he hits very hard. He's four fights, four kills. And his opponent is doing everything to bring the fight to the ground. But you have to, to understand what the rule is. In, 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 in reality, he has four fights and four wins to win. One by KO, one by submission, and two by decision. So you're seeing a guy who for sure has a strong ground game. He already got his opponent and is offering a very, a lot of danger on the, on the rear naked choke. Well, Duwadu already in some trouble here, was taken down to the mat early. And Willis from behind going for the choke and the submission here just underway in round one. Scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Gets a couple punches in with the right hand. Yes, and he's completely dominating. If he keeps sitting down like that, he'll be there for the whole fight. He needs to start moving and start working that hip out of that situation. There you go. Keep defending it. Watch your hips. Look overly concerned, at least here from the start. One minute in. You had talked about it. No one from Canada wanted to fight him. They had to go and fight an opponent from the United States. and went to five guys. Duwadu undefeated at 4-0. Both fighters are 4-0, but... And he's up on his feet again. Let's see how it goes. Beautiful right around. Watch your neck. Watch your neck. Keep fighting it. is looking to keep this fight on the ground. He's avoiding the, the, the strength. That's a fight not expected to go the distance, that's for sure. These two hungry, aggressive fighters, Willis, trying to push Dewadu again up against the cage and does, gets a knee in. There you go. Good, good, head position, you beat him. Yeah. And now it's separating. Very, very athletic, 145 pounds. Beautiful right hand, he landed. Wadu's in the black shorts with a gold trim. Willis in the black shorts. You can see Wadu's base, much more solid. He's more, he's much, much stronger than Wadu gets his left leg wrapped up now by Willis. Heavy on that wizard! 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 Heavy 
Cruz, the fence, running the water down. For sure, this fight's not going all the way through. I would say no. Halfway through this first round, however, and you have Duwadu up against the cage right now. Very high level Muay Thai specialist, had 60 fights there. He's a very experienced fighter in that regard. You can see it. When he walked, that is in his position. Couldn't show nothing yet, but you can see that the, how solid his stand up is. Duwadu in the black shorts of the gold trim told us yesterday. You can see the way beginning to, to, to guess. The, too much effort to bring Duwadu down. Duwadu told us yesterday he thought Willis had a lot of confidence, but he thought once he sees me, he's going to lose his confidence. But at least early on right now, Willis has been really holding his own to get some knee in there from Duwadu. One, one funny thing that happened is for the fact that Willis was able to bring uh, Duwadu down a couple times, Duwadu is not so comfortable to, to actually hit. So he's keeping the distance most of that trade to take that. Chico Willis in the all-black shorts, turned pro just nine months ago. It's one KO and one submission, 22 years old. Goes low there. It's a right knee shot from Duwadu. Coming up on one minute left in round one. Almost there, almost there. Almost there, team. I was thinking too much about the measurement too much. He's afraid of the down. That makes his shots. You see it all the time. Duwadu with a couple of knees there. The neck completely bent back with Willis. Duwadu has him in a compromising position and now starts to unload a little bit. Gets a flying knee there to the left. Definitely this fight's not going to end. We have 28 seconds to go right now. Willis didn't survive. There you go. Was able to really get some good strikes in, especially with those knees on Shuka Willis, who's up against the cage right now with 10 seconds to go in round one. He pushes him off. Hakeem Dewadu, Shuka Willis, round one in the box. In Edmonton, Mike Corey, Henzo Gracie. Here's what we saw from round one between Dewadu and Willis. You see the Willis start to wear him out. Let's go. It's going to be a hard, hard round for him now. He's showing signs of fatigue. Dewadu should be more aggressive. He's holding back too much. He's afraid of the takedowns. The fight is his now. Willis is in the all black shorts. Dewadu in the black shorts with gold trim. Round two is underway. Scheduled for three five-minute rounds. There we go to the canvas. The Wadu comes around the back now. Hard strikes to the left on Willis, trying to protect his face on the left side. And now Duwadu goes to work on the other side. A couple of body shots. Keep it going. He's too hard. He's tired. You hear the crowd yelling in favor of Duwadu saying that Willis is tired. Yeah, he looks tired. Beautiful shot for single leg. Beautiful push to take down. Watch your back. Hit the kid. You see, I know he's having trouble to keep Duwadu down. Duwadu's getting up very easy. Turn, 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 tur
Duwadu up against, as well as up against the cage. Left hand now. He's landing solid shots. He's faking the shot. He's hitting. Enzo's oh, 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 really been a good combination of strikes with also the knees here as you see by Hakeem Delano. Really starting to get to well as knees. Really connected. You don't realize my goals actually where you are. In all parts of the body. It makes you much tighter than it actually is. See now where is shooting out of the right Looking a little sloppy, so you can probably play smart. That's a win for sure. Noah's trying to fight back in the right. See, he was marking that knee to hit it. That was a beautiful knee. Duwadu has really been shooting it. Three solid lefts on Willis. Another knee. has had enough and Hakeem Dewadu who's a kickboxer back when he was a teenager it was a court order that he had to get anger management so they sent him to go do kickboxing and it certainly paid off here now as his record runs to five and oh he says it's not going to decision that's what he told us yesterday and he was right it's true beautiful display of athleticism he should have been more aggressive because the fight was his from the beginning. It'll be one of the next rising stars here in the World Series of Fighting, Hakeem Dewanu. Let's go back and see what happened. See, look, he got caught by that knee walking in as he's trying to shoot, and then blows to the head right there. And you see that he completely out of, Will is completely out of strength to drive to bring his opponent down. And as he stands up, again, he uses the, the, the block, using the form to block, and he's, the fight is out of us. Look, he's completely dead, and all the knees are connecting. Even though he's trying a few haymakers, extremely hard to, to land it. And the fight is over. Look at the knees connecting to the head, one after another. That's good. That's done. Look out for Hakeem Dewadu, 5-0 oh now. We'll be back with the official decision right after this. The World Series of Fighting 21 continues from Edmonton here on NBCSN. Fight one in the books between Hakeem Dewadu and Shuka Willis. Now let's go inside the cage to Jazz Sekiro for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Kyle Cardinal has seen enough and stopped this fight at two minutes and 55 seconds of round number two. Officially a TKO due to strike. Your winner and still undefeated, me, Hakeem Dewadu. What do you think, Henzo? Dewadu, does he have an opportunity now, maybe possibly sooner rather than later, to fight for the featherweight championship? Definitely, definitely. He has all the tools. If uh, he builds up his confidence a little bit more, he will be a much better fighter. He was. Uh, he needs to improve his groundwork to be confident about striking better because his strike is extremely strong. If his ground is solid, you know, look at, at the, uh, the whole time he had a chance to finish this, the fight. But he was constantly moving his hip back, afraid of a, of a takedown. His knee strikes were awesome. He was really getting to Willis in that regard. You can see he even got hit a lot for the fact that he's afraid to, to grapple. But the knees were extremely efficient. Look how solid that he went. 
really was done right there. Look, you can't, he couldn't. He asked for, he asked for the check. 